good morning thanks for joining me i hope everybody's well today welcome back to another video and today i am doing have i done one of these yeah my second ever viewers choose my clothes haul and try on from yours clothing that was a mouthful wasn't it <laughs> Yeah, I put a shout out on Instagram and on the YouTube community tag, tab, tag, tab, 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 for you to select something from yours clothing that you thought would suit me and, um, or not as the case may be, and um, many, many, many of you made many, many, many suggestions. I couldn't possibly have ordered them all, obviously, and some of them were out of stock in my size. However, I have chosen... I think I've got about 14 things to say, show you, 12 or 14 anyway. And I tried to go with the ones that were out of my comfort zone. Not all of them are, but I tried to choose the ones that I wouldn't naturally choose myself. So it was more like somebody else choosing clothes for me. A lot of you obviously know my style really well and the sort of things I pick. So there's a lot of things that I would have chosen for myself. Um, and a couple of those have made it into the final cut. But um, I did try and go with things that weren't necessarily what I would pick myself. A couple of things I want to say before I get started. Firstly, my hair is not looking at its best this morning. I know this. I've been out for a walk with a bobble hat pulled down over my head and I haven't done an awful lot to my hair since then. The reason for this is that when I do these videos, I end up, as I put clothes on and take them off and put them on and take them off, my hair ends up a total mess anyway. So I thought, why bother doing it? to be bad. that's the truth of the matter so apologies for the state of my hair the other thing i want to say is for any new viewers or people who haven't seen my videos before which is effectively the same thing caroline new viewers people who haven't seen your videos before i am five foot three tall and i generally take a 18 to 20 uk size on the bottom and around a 22 on the top Without further ado, let's get into this video and the, oh, I should also say at this point, I will link everything in the description box below. So there will be clickable links in there. I'll endeavor to put them in, in the order that I try everything on in the video to make it easier. Right, let's get into it. Now, the first item that I want to show you, because I'm not going to try it on, is this pair of Kim skinny black jeans. Um, these reminded me when I got them out of the bag like very much of the Marks and Spencer jeggings. You know the Marks and Spencer 15 pound jeggings that I like? Um, these have got a fastening actually. They've got a button and a zip but they're very stretchy. That sort of high waist stretchy very skinny leg type jean now the reason i'm not going to try these on is when they came out of the plastic bag they are covered and i'm not sure if you can see this or not i don't think the camera will pick it up they are covered in what looks like somebody's cat's hair <laughs> not nice really not nice at all so i don't i don't think i want to put those on i'm afraid so they will be going straight back from whence they came Let's move on to something else. I think we'll start off with tops. First of all, we have this stripy grey and black top. This has got a very loungewear feel about it. It's not loungewear, but it's got that lovely sort of warm brushed feel about it. It's quite long line, would cover up your bum. And I really like the button detail on the sleeves there. I think that's really nice. Um, I ordered this in a 22-24. In fact, all the tops I ordered in a 22-24. So, so I'll only tell you if there's anything different. So without further ado, let's try it on and see what it's like. I quite like this. It's a nice length. I like it. It's not too long on me. Um, it's not too bad from the side. It's all right from the back. Um, I like the stripes. It feels lovely and warm and cosy. And I love the length of the sleeve, the three quarter sleeve and the button detail. I think that's really nice. So yeah, I think this one is a hit. I really like it. Next, we have this pink sort of a mulberry type of pink. Apologies for the light, the sun is coming out and going in. It's a nightmare to film try on videos in the winter when it's like this. So if I shut the blinds, anyway, you don't want to know about my blinds, do you? I love the sleeves on this top. This really attracted me to it. I thought it was so pretty. Again, it's a sort of long line tunic style top and it's got a sort of self stripe in the um, 
fabric which I thought was nice and quite unusual. It's stretchy, it's fairly lightweight I would say. Um, love the colour of this. Very this is very nylon it gave me um, electric shocks as I pulled it over my head which has put me off a little bit. Um, I don't actually like myself in this very much. I feel like it's too big. Um, under here it feels too big and it sort of rucks up a bit. Um, I like the sleeves, I think the sleeves are really pretty. A little bit over long perhaps, a bit annoying when you're doing the washing up. Um, I feel, I, I, there's just something about it I don't like and I don't, I can't really put my finger on what it is. Um, let me know what you think of this one. I, Next we have this, which is a shacket, which I understand is somewhere between a shirt and a jacket and it's a fairly heavy weight. I love the colour, I love the green check. This is absolutely not something that I would have chosen myself at all. Um, it definitely wouldn't be something that I'd have picked up. However, I quite like it. It feels nice and warm and cosy. It's got that brush cotton feel, it's quite heavy. Let's see what it looks like on. I think I'm on the fence with this one. I feel like it's too long on me. It goes down to almost my knees. Um, I don't know, what do you think? It's also a little bit itchy. I definitely need to wear something underneath it. Um, I've got like a camisole on that I wear anyway, underneath clothes, but it feels itchy around here. I, I wish they had the same material on the inside as the outside because it's a lovely brushed cotton feel it's quite itchy around my neck but and I'm not usually someone who's sensitive to itchiness in clothing but I, 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 I don't dislike it but I feel like it's too long I feel like I'd like it to be um, more shirt length than this sort of very long um, yeah I don't think I'd keep this but I would definitely consider the shacket as a garment in the future. Now this next one, never has a garment said spring to me as much as this top. Again, this definitely wouldn't have been picked at something I'd pick out myself, but this was picked by Jane, a lady who has watched for a while and knows my style quite well. We message a little bit about um various things, clothes and various other things. But um, yes, I, I chose this because it was so not my style, but I love the colors. It just screams spring. And I thought it would be fun to try. It has got a tie around the waist, which fills me with a bit of horror, but let's see what it's like. Okay, so. I love the colour, I love the print, I think the colour suits me. Um, I like the v-neck and I quite like the sleeve with the sheared elastic and the sort of puffy cuff thing, don't know what you call that, but quite like that. I think it's too big, I think I would need to size down in it at least one size. Uh, there is too much fabric here and there's not meant to be. However, that having been said, it doesn't expose so many wrap tops. If they're, even when they're the right size, I find are not accommodating enough for one's bust, if you know what I mean. Let me do you a side. You see, I don't think the side view is too bad on that. And the back is actually okay as well. Not my favourite. I don't like, I'm short-waisted as well or high-waisted, which means that naturally there is a lot of extra fabric here because I haven't got much space between my waist and my bust, so that doesn't help. Um, considering it's absolutely not my style, I quite like it. I would consider ordering this again in a size down and seeing what it looked like. Uh, much more in my comfort zone this one. This is a sort of peplum almost style tunic top with a v-neck. It's got a textured fabric, it's quite lightweight and it's got a very slight texture in it and there's very tiny leopard print which I really like. Anything animal print I very much like. But yeah, very positive about this one. I think this might be a nice addition to my summer wardrobe so let's try it on. I like this but it's too big. Again, I have lost weight recently and I'm continuing to do so, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so perhaps I ought to already be ordering a size down. 
Um, this is what this one looks like. I really like it. I, I feel like you could almost wear, or I could almost wear this as a dress as well, but it is too big across here, too much fabric in here. But it's lovely and lightweight. It would be really nice. I wouldn't wear it as a dress in summer because I want to wear tights with it. Maybe with leggings in the summer. I feel like little crop leggings. It might look quite nice. Um, but yeah, I might well reorder this a size down because I think this is really nice. This one again is something I probably wouldn't have ordered myself, but I quite like it now it's here. I think this came in lots of different colours. Um, I think this was suggested by a couple of people actually. It's a navy blue sort of shirt um, with buttons halfway down, three quarter sleeve, quite long line, a v-neck. I like all of those things and I like the weight of the fabric. It's a medium weight sort of stretchy fabric with a slight sheen which I quite like. So yeah, feeling quite positive about this. I really like this. It feels really nice. I feel like it looks nice. I feel like it's flattering. It skims over my hips and my tummy really nicely. Just a nice everyday top that. And you could also dress it up because it's got this sort of slightly sheeny finish. I feel like it would be all right in the evening as well with, um, you know, like a night out, a night out, haha, <laughs> as if we're going on a night out anytime soon. But yeah, I feel like this is a really versatile wardrobe staple type top. Yeah, really like this a lot. Don't know who chose it, but thank you very much. I'm keeping it. Next, we're going to try a pair of jeggings. Most people chose tops and dresses. Very, very few people chose trousers or skirts. I think somebody chose a skirt and either it wasn't available in my size, or I can't remember, but it was all mostly tops and dresses. Anyway, it's these Jenny Jeggings. Um, these are super stretch, apparently. I've ordered them in an 18, and they've got a little bit of sparkly down the side there. I don't know how well that is showing up on camera, but they've got a sparkly line down each side, so they could definitely be dressed up for the evening. And I'm going to put those on with this top another animal print type top peplum but this time with long sleeves with this sort of flare at the end of the sleeve again and the elastication and this one has a sort of scoop neck so first of all it's a big fat no to this top now to be fair it's probably the wrong size i think that i am at a stage that I need to be ordering a size down generally in most things, although that having been said, that navy top was a perf perfect fit. Um, this seam sits on exactly the wrong place on my waist, exactly the wrong place. The sleeves are way too big and flappy and too long. I feel like a little girl playing dress up in her mum's <laughs> outfits. Um, yeah, this one isn't for me, it's just, not flattering to my shape in any way shape or form um the jeggings are very comfortable um yeah they're about the right length um quite like the stripey bit down the side yeah the, the jeggings are all right i'm going to keep the jeggings on and try them with the next thing i think which is this jacket now this was 19.99. I realise I haven't told you prices of a lot of things. A lot of the labels don't have the prices on and I'd have to go and look on the delivery note and put my glasses on and off and it's just a step too far but I have put clickable links so if you want the price information it's all down there in the description box. But yeah this sort of unstructured open front khaki coloured green jacket with three quarter sleeves. I wouldn't have ordered this but I like it. I think that it might look quite nice with what I'm going to pair it with, um, which is a new top from, anyway, you'll see it in a minute. Let me put it on and stop waffling at you. I really like this. I didn't think I was going to like it when I ordered it, but it's a complete departure from anything I'd wear. And I think I look nicer in this than anything else I've tried on today. Um, I feel like it's so flattering for my shape. It, it really does look much nicer than anything else I've tried on. I feel really nice in this. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've got it paired. I think it looks nice with the jeggings and the heels. Um, I really like it with this little star top. This is from Sainsbury's. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago. I've not worn it yet. But yeah, this jacket I really like. 
I'm going to keep this jacket as well, just in case I ever go out anywhere again, other than the supermarket or for a walk around the lake. I really like this. I'll just show you the top, just in case you're interested. It's from Sainsbury's, it was only a couple of weeks ago, um, and it's got an animal print sequined star across the front. It's very thin jersey fabric, and I just thought it would be really nice for spring. Let's move on to dresses. I have three dresses to show you, finally. Three, the last three items are dresses, finally can't speak. Anyway, this first one is a tiered midi dress in black and white. Uh, very easy to wear. It's like a thin crepe, not crepe, um, almost like a satiny fabric, probably viscose, but nice and thin. Perfect for summer. It's got a little frill on the sleeve there. feel like this might be a really nice, easy throw-on dress. You could wear it with flat sandals or with the black and white spotty heels that I'm going to put it on with. Not ideal, this one. Um, let me step back for you. This has got quite a fitted waist. Um, always a problem with fitted waists, as I've mentioned before, that I am very high-waisted, and if I put the waist on my actual waist, I end up looking like I've got a droopy bust because there's too much fabric in around here. And if I pull it down so that it sits below my waist, I look like I've got a great, well, I have got great big um, fat deposits there. So it just, no, this just doesn't work for me. I really like it from about here downwards. And I quite like the top. You see, I've got, it, it just, no, it's just a no, isn't it? There's, there's many things wrong with the cut of this dress. I like the sleeves, um, but no, it just does nothing for me, this one, sadly. That's a shame. Right, this is another one that I definitely, definitely wouldn't have picked out myself. I quite like the print, now it's here, it's the same fabric as this dress I've got on, the very sort of thin fabric with a slight slip to it, so perfect for spring and summer. It's sort of a wrap style, this one, it's a fixed wrap with a tie waist and then a little tear on the bottom. Um, there's lots of things I do like about it, so let's see what it's like. Well, this one's slightly more successful than the last one. Um, I like the length. It's not too long, which is good. Unfortunately, I do sort of have the same problem with this bit having too much fabric in it. My bloody high waist. Again, I really like the V-neck. I love the length of the sleeves. They're elasticated at the end, but not too tight. Um, I like the frill on the bottom of the skirt. I don't think it looks horrific from the side. Um, I don't think it looks too hideous from the back. Um, yeah, I feel like this one is a lot more flattering than the last one. But again, just this problem around the waist area. Um, it, it skims nicely over my tummy as well, which many dresses that are, are more sort of fitted at the top don't. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be... There's a lot that's nice about this one that I very much like. If I wasn't trying to continue to lose weight, I may think about keeping this one, but I feel like, because it's already got this extra fabric here, it also sits nicely across the bust line, this one, but because it's got that, I feel like if I do lose more weight, it's gonna be too big really quickly, this one. So, um, but I like the print as well. I feel like the print is quite flattering on me with this, and I tend to steer away from um, this sort of print, but yeah, quite like this one. The final item is another dress, and this is one that came up several times in your suggestions. Several people suggested this one, and it is quite a me dress. This is one that I would have picked myself. Um, it's tie-dye, it's black and burgundy, it's got a sort of unstructured style, it's got the low pockets, which I like, it's got sort of a largan looky look about it. I would wear this with black tights and boots. So let's put it on with those and see what it looks like. I think I forgot to say that I ordered all the dresses in a 20, size 20. Um, sadly, this one is a fail, even though I would have picked it myself. It is a, just a length issue, I think. It just sits too low on me, to, uh, and this bit here is a little bit... I, I don't like it because it's slightly clingy, and I, the shape just is shapeless and makes me look bigger and more shapeless. Um, 
yeah and the pockets seem to I, I don't know it I feel like it needs to be on the knee or above the shape of dress on me to work and this one just doesn't much as I like it and want it to work it just doesn't unfortunately so just it's my body shape rather than the dress on this one I'm pretty sure but that is it that is all the items from yours clothing two absolute hits in there that I loved that I didn't think I was going to the green jacket and the navy blue um, sort of long line blouse top um, those two were definitely my absolute favorites winners of the day and several other items that I did quite like um, let me know what you thought of them um, as I said all the links are in the description box below if you want to click through I think that's it for today thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to those people who chose the items took the time out of their day to pick some items for me and let me know in the comments if it was you who chose the blue blouse or the green jacket that I'm keeping so I can thank you for choosing those for me it's like having a lot of personal shoppers I love it we must do this type of video more often thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye